Today we're looking at the declaration, I am a child of God. I love this one and something that's particularly standing out to me at the moment about this is the access that we have to God as his children, that we can cry out, Abba, Father, and we are allowed to come close and sit on his knee and spend time with our heavenly father, our daddy who loves us and has time for us and is interested in us. It's just incredible. You know, once we were estranged from God through our sin, cut off, yet through Jesus, we have this invitation into intimacy and relationship with our heavenly daddy. And it is precious and it is healing. And that is the place where we really will become free and transformed in his love, sitting on his knee and knowing who our daddy is. There's an awesome story about a soldier in the American Civil War whose brother and father had died and it was planting time and he was aware that his mum and sister were at home and that they would struggle to plant and therefore when there would be nothing to harvest and they were going to struggle and potentially starve and he was desperate to go home and help them with the planting. But he was in the army and they weren't allowed to just leave and he walked all the way to Lincoln, President Lincoln's house to plead his case. And the guards at the door said, sorry, can't come in. Very busy, President. Uh -uh. And he was on a bench in the grounds and he was crying. And a little boy came and sat next to him on the bench and said, what's the matter? And he told him the story. And the little boy took him by the hand, led him up around the back of the house, in through a back door, past the guards, down the corridors to this big door, through the door and right into the president's office and said, Daddy, there's somebody who wants to talk to you. And the soldier was given the opportunity to plead his case and was sure enough given leave from the army to go home and help his mother and sister planting. Because that little boy who had come and found him on the bench was the president's son. And the son gave that soldier access right into his office in the middle of all that he was doing in the middle of the war. And that is the access that Jesus gives us to our Heavenly Father. Through his death on, a cro on the cross, he made a way for us to come boldly to God's throne of grace, that we may receive mercy when we need it most. So I hope this encourages you today to know that you can go boldly to God's throne because he is your Father and because Jesus has made a way for you to be reconciled with God, for you to walk with God, for you to commune with God, and for you to receive deeply his love and his pleasure over you.